The Children's International School in Lagos is on target to set a national benchmark with students gearing up to represent Nigeria on the world stage at a major robotics competition in the Netherlands later this year. So our robots we've built is supposed to imitate performing tedious tasks underwater, but looking at the future of robots entering the water, doing tasks that might be very hard for humans to do and solving different problems. Beyond robots, teachers use AI-powered applications to simulate complex science concepts and the school's AI assessment system provides a detailed look at students' progress. For CIS, we are just beginning to integrate artificial intelligence into our systems. Um, what we've done so far with the use of artificial intelligence is that our teachers leverage on it to make work more productive for them in terms of making lesson plans, creating quizzes and engaging activities for, to promote teaching and learning. Elsewhere in Lagos, more than 4,000 people are crammed into a hall, keen to understand how AI will impact children's lives. An organization called Digital Equity Africa is taking big steps to make sure that children on the continent aren't left behind in the rise of artificial intelligence. That's why it's hosting Africa's first AI summit for children here in Lagos, bringing together thousands of children, parents, and educators. Surely somebody will join me on stage to live demo board AI. You're going to ask it anything you want. The organizers, Digital Equity Africa, has also launched Bird AI, an innovative large language model that assists students with tasks, while also challenging their critical thinking skills. But we've come up with a tool that has the right guardrails that will enable all of that, but without losing the protection of a child, right? And why it is different is the guardrails that are set in place. They are just words that will not fly. They are images that will not fly. Very importantly, for a child to be onboarded to board AI, they have to do that in conjunction with their parents. OHA is ambitiously building a 100,000 strong digital community of children in the first year. She's also collaborating with the government to draft Nigeria's AI regulations. That could help these children and others learn, using all the digital tools at their disposal. Hillary Noruka, Africa Matters, Lagos. Oh, <laughs>